Yeah, I think we got a couple guys that um, are going to have to step up and be big leaders this year. Um, so we're kind of embracing that role and, and ready to get started and, and ready to be leaders and show guys the right way to do some, do stuff. How are you feeling? I feel good. I'm ready to go, just eager to get it started. Um, you know, even just going in and watching film, it's like getting me excited. Just I can't wait to get out there and, and start running around. Oh, yeah, 100%. The importance of carrying the momentum from last year for this one team in front of the and making it seem like a win. Yeah, um, we understood that one game wasn't going to define our entire season. So um, we kind of looked at the season as a whole and, and looked at the positives, and we got to keep building off those and go in. And uh, we know we're going to have a little bit bigger target on our back this year. We can't sneak up on teams, but. Um, we're ready for that, and we understand we've got to focus that much more each week. Have you kept feeling more nervous through three weeks having the injury, and how much do you want to get back to play as you know, players? Yeah, it's definitely frustrating when you know you work to get to that point, and you can't be out there with those guys that you've grown so close with. So, um, you know, once again, it just makes me that much more eager and excited to get out there and be back out there with the guys on the team. Um, you know, we kind of embraced underdog role. I like that. We played that role all last season. Um, so I think as long as we have uh, inner team belief and guys understand what we can do and we believe in each other, then that's all we need. Um, so like I said, we kind of embraced underdog role, and, and I kind of like it. Yeah, um, you know, going off last season, we understand now what it takes to get to that point and what we need to do to exceed that point. So, uh, you know, kind of using that, we use that this off season, and we're going to use that in our uh, in the way we prepare going into this season to kind of keep building off that and uh, get to where we want to go. Yeah, we understand that we're going to have to take on a big leadership role, but uh, we have a lot of guys um, that played a lot last year. They, they might not have been starters, but they were big-time contributors, and they're going to be stepping and starting. And then we got some uh, really talented young guys that are going to be stepping up and uh, stepping in some big roles. So, um, you know, I have 100% confidence that those guys are going to come in and, and do a great job. Now, my personal goal is to win. Um, winning makes everything more fun, so whatever that takes to win, um, that's where I'm at. Yeah, that's huge. Um, that's like an, almost an extended spring ball for some of those guys to get the extra reps and get the extra look. So um, I think we understood at the time that those were going to be vital practices, and we used those to the fullest. So. Um, a lot of these guys had really good spring balls and uh, looking forward to what they can do in training camp and going into this season. What was the, in September you guys had a pretty, pretty tough schedule there. You got you know, TCU, Penn State, uh, Georgia Tech. How important was it to get a good start and you know, kind of continue the momentum from last year's season? Yeah, we understand we're not going to be able to uh, ease into the season, that we're going to have to be on top of our game and stay focused each week. Um, we are taking the mentality one week at a time, so right now we're 100% focused on Richmond, but um, we do understand that we got to be uh, top of our game and, and really staying focused. I don't think so. Um, I think you know a lot of those games uh, kind of has made us you know that much more battle tested and and ready to go. And hopefully we can use that in this season. Um, uh, that's kind of how we, um, especially our strength coach, that's kind of how we gear our training is to excel in the fourth quarter and uh, have the mental uh, toughness to do that. So um, I think we were kind of ready for that, and like I say it gets you battle tested. Yeah, once we get the call from the sideline, um, 
you know, the, the Mike linebacker and all the linebackers kind of got to make all the calls, the formation, make sure the, the D line set up right and that they know where they're going if we have a stun on or an angle call. And then the defensive backs got to communicate with the linebackers to make sure we got the right calls, we're playing the right coverage, and um, that everyone's uh, making the right adjustments and has the right man. So there's a multitude of calls that, that go on and kind of got to be vocal and, and think fast.